What's going on guys? My name is Neeb. Welcome back to Aromatics. Today we're going to be talking about new fragrances to my collection. Two of them are new releases. If you're lucky enough to find them on eBay, grab them. That's exactly what I did. So one more from this collection that I'm going to need to grab. Unfortunately, I already recorded some of this video. So here I am again. Okay, <laughs> here I am again, but it's all good. One of the fragrances is Inicio's Side Effect. If you don't know about Side Effect, it's cinnamon, it's tobacco, it's vanilla, it's booze, it's sexy. It smells like there might be some cardamom here. They don't actually, or not cardamom, cumin rather. They don't actually list it in the notes, but it is there. Fragrance World has a couple of different brands or uh, clones of it. They've got Purple Effect, which is good, but it's the weakest performing of them all. I believe that Aftermath is going to be the next potent thing. And then there's After Effect. And then Velour's Low Light is just the beast mode of this entire DNA. And I genuinely believe that all they do is increase the potency between each one. Aftermath, I don't know how potent it is, but I did spray it on a tester strip and I have it here still. I did notice that it smells just as potent as After Effect. I genuinely believe that the concentration in this one is After Effect, but it's in a cheaper bottle, so it's likely to be a cheaper price. Not to mention the presentation is cheaper as well, so they're able to sell this for cheaper. That's just the way that it works, okay? And then, so I sprayed this on about 10 minutes ago. I did record this already, unfortunately. I did only get to the opening of the second fragrance, which was fantastic, and we're gonna talk about that. But it's just as strong, guys. This is just as strong as After Effect. So if you find this for a cheap deal, grab it just came back from the gym i noticed that my hat was still backwards and my hair was all over whatever it is what it is okay the curls don't hate on the curls anyways so aftermath really smells good smells just as potent as after effect maybe slightly no it honestly it really smells just as close if you get this you'll be just as happy if you didn't get after effect or if you're on a tighter budget than what after effect can get you which Believe it or not, guys, people have different budgets. People got different priorities. If I've got four kids and I've got $100 to feed my kids and I'm between buying a $10 or $15 or $20 fragrance or no fragrance at all, I'm gonna go with this bad boy because I still deserve to smell nice while feeding my kids and my family. So it is what it is. The next fragrance that I opened up was from their brand new collection and this is Imperial. This stuff, the box is so grand, you guys. It's amazing. By the way, I did notice, and I said this last time, I said, mark my words, this is gonna matter one day. But anyways, and we saw that happen with Latafa, okay? But so you got the top here, you open the flap and the fragrance sits in place. You guys have to see how this thing freaking looks. I'm so disappointed I didn't get that genuine first impression, but I'm still pretty stoked because this shit is crazy. Like what the f is that? You guys, this is so heavy, it is like five pounds. This is crazy. So I noticed that the bottle is a similar shape to Imperium by Fragrance World, but it's painted black. And this stuff, it's all metal. This is very sharp, so be careful. All metal. The cap is metal as well. Fantastic. I was saying that this is supposed to be a dupe of, by the name Imperial, Imperial Valley by Glissa. At the time of making this video, I had already recorded the full review for this fragrance, but I might not have posted it yet. If it's up by now, I'll go ahead and link it somewhere up on the top so you can follow up with this video and go see the review of that fragrance, which is basically going to reiterate what I said about this. Reason being, it's so damn close. First impression, this stuff is beast mode. That's exactly what Imperial Valley is. It's beast mode. This is Devana, Peppers, Leather, Musk, and Amber. That's exactly what it is. It's an animalic leather that's spicy, aromatic, and ambery. There's a hefty dose of musk here, which also does contribute some animalic facets. This stuff is loud, okay? This stuff is so loud, it's so strong, you gotta be careful with the trigger. You definitely gotta be careful with the trigger. A lot of people in the East are wondering why the heck is it so marked up in the West? I understand. In Kuwait, you can find this around 70 to 100 bucks max. Here in the States, you have to understand that just to ship one article, one piece of this is 25 bucks. And for you to even get it to be able to ship it for 25 bucks, you have to have some kind of contract with like DHL and stuff like that. And so only the people that have that contract, which takes months to get approved for, can ship it for 25. Otherwise, it's like 30, 40 bucks just to ship one piece. So let's say it's retailing for $70, you buy it for 70, they mark it up that $25, you're now at a cost of 100 bucks. Then you've got the middleman to pay. He wants to make 20 to $30 per piece. Now it's at about 120. And then you got the store that's got to keep the lights on and feed their family and kids. So it ends up at around 160, $180. And personally, I genuinely believe that that's fair considering all of the factors. I purchased this for around 165, maybe 170. It is what it is, man. If you want to smell it, then you pay the premium. But now I don't even think you have to because this stuff is a dupe 
of this stuff. And the biggest thing that I was really wondering on whether or not it would get is the performance. So I haven't worn it yet. Obviously this is a first impression, but I did spray both on a tester strip and it's extremely close. That opening was almost identical. I got an extreme hefty dose of that Davana and pepper. It's extremely aromatic at the top. It's extremely spicy. And then shortly after you get that animalic leather and that soft musk. Smells almost identical on a budget. Obviously, it's not going to be as high quality as something like Pessa Imperial Valley. It does have more facets. It's louder. It's stronger. But this is freaking beastly. It's still radiating in the room. It's not going to radiate as much as this, but you don't want, I mean, honestly, this might be too much for a lot of you here in the West. I'm being real because I sprayed this about two to three times and I was like, whoa, like enough. You guys know I spray 14 times. I don't freaking play. And if you spray this one time, yeah, this will probably last you a lifetime, real talk. And now that there's this fragrance, it'll probably do the same. So at the top, smells like Lissa's Imperial Valley. If you have no idea what this smells like and you want to get an idea of what this smells like, this is a great fragrance to do exactly that with. There aren't really any samples or any way to sample this fragrance. So if there aren't any samples of a fragrance, but there is a dupe, then I think it's a good reason to grab the dupe and see if you're even into the DNA. Sometimes, well, a lot of times actually, there have been clone fragrances that I pick up just because I wanted to pick it up and see what it's like. I wasn't even interested in the original, so I would have never even bought the decamp. But because I bought the clone, I ended up buying the original as a tribute to the original DNA. DNA, the perfumers, and because I freaking love it. It's not really black and white, you guys. Sometimes it is better to buy a decant of a fragrance. If you want to smell the actual fragrance, then get a decant of the actual fragrance. But if you're just an enthusiast and you want to kind of play around and the word on the street is that it's close enough and yada yada and you want a lot of it, and grab a clone. Like I said, it's not always black and white. There are so many factors that can justify buying a clone instead of a decant and buying a decant instead of a clone. We'll be here all day if we get into that topic. Imperial, as a clone of Imperial Valley, 10 out of freaking 10. Aftermath, as a clone of Initio's side effect, nine and a half out of 10. Only reason is because after effect or Velour's low light is a 10 out of 10. Although I will say that Velour's low light, because it is super strong, maybe even stronger than the original, does add just a little bit, just, just a little bit more cumin. I love it though. It's borderline too much. It's still great. So After Effect is a 10 out of 10. And honestly, this is a 9.75 for now. Depending on how this one performs, if I get similar performance that I get with After Effect when I wear this, it'll be a 10 out of 10. Scent wise, 10 out of 10. One of the best DNAs you can get as a cheapie. Aftermath is a no brainer. My God, it smells good. Very Middle Eastern DNA. You guys want to know what Middle Eastern niche fragrances smell like? Honestly, there isn't a clone or a dupe or really anything that gets close to like one of these Kuwaiti perfumes that's this loud and strong and bold because everything they do, they do it times five. So what we're used to here in the States, that little Davana note. Yeah, it's not so little here. And as far as the aftermath, yeah, it's a no brainer. That's it. First impressions. So from here on out, I'm going to rock all of these and I'll report back to you guys what I think about the performance and how they dry down and if they got any closer or further from the original DNA so far. This is extremely freaking close. I'm most impressed with this because of the presentation. And I think that it's extremely impressive that we now have an actual dupe for a Kuwait niche fragrance. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, scroll down, hit that subscribe button. And if you want a follow up video on all of these, make sure to hit that notification bell because I drop videos every day. And until the next one, peace.